Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Joel Parker and this is Whiteboard Wednesday. And this week we're talking about what's your marketing bite. Now, any of you that are into fishing will know what a bite is. And typically in the salmon runs we have around where I live, we have morning bites, afternoon bites, sometimes they'll fluctuate with the tides and so forth and that. But you also have got in your practice, believe it or not, a marketing bite. And that has to do with what's the response to your marketing that goes out and then triggers people to get on the phones or respond to your emails or your Facebook posts and things like that. So marketing bites very, very important because marketing is not cheap. You need to spend some money in your practice to make sure that you're outflowing and people in your community know what you're doing. There's numerous ways we talk about doing that on the online new client builder. Uh, Dylan can put out, uh, talk to you guys about that at the end here. But suffice to say, what's very important is that your marketing dollars that go out create a bite, that they actually create a response and people picking up the phone and calling you to book appointments. So marketing can be all the way from billboards to phone calls that go out to your, uh, your uh, wellness cards that go out to your Facebook posts, uh, Twitter posts, things like that. The question is, do they bite? Do they create a response? So the way we're going to find that out is with what's called a marketing or a promotion log. So here's some action steps for you. Number one, create a marketing log in Excel. Now Excel is a Microsoft product that many of you are, may already be using for finances, but it also works extremely well for marketing. If you're not already using Excel, we can get a copy. It's probably on every one of your Microsoft driven computers. It's not difficult to use. You can get on it, it'll track numbers. So in one column, you can track your promotion that goes out, meaning the number of cards that go out every month, every week, the number of phone calls that go out, the number of square feet of billboards, uh, the square uh, inches of press that go out in the local newspaper, all these kind of marketing things you can do. And then you can track the response by what happens, and we call that the bite, the marketing bite. Does Do your people see your promotion, and do they pick up the phone and call you? And once you've established that in a relationship, you'll start to see the relationship between what you're outflowing for promotion out of your practice and what the response is, what the bite is. When you can track that after a month or so, you can begin to see what works and what creates the best bite, the best response. And that's where step number four, you want to flow money to the most positive response. Uh, again, this is a little bit like fishing, where if you're starting to get, you know, let's say that you're using six lures uh, out the side of the boat, when you're trolling along and two of them are hitting crazy, the fish are biting specifically on those two out of six lures, then I would change the other four and invest in that marketing material. Okay, so to wrap things up here, here's your action steps for the week. Create your marketing log in Excel, track your promotion outflow out, track the responses, your marketing bite, and then finally start to look and see, you know, what can we support uh, and flow some more money to the positive response ones so we can even increase the number of people coming into your practice. Okay, so I got for you this week. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, if you need help with marketing, which covers already uh, subjects such as like uh, public relations to doing market research to building promotion that actually gets the phone to ring, then do the online new client builder workshop. Okay, thanks a lot. That's all I got for you this week. There's our marketing steps. Dylan Byrne, thank you very much for your photography work. You're very welcome. Okay, guys, and don't forget, uh, at the end of this, stay tuned. You'll see the list of the action steps out for you so you can write them down if you missed them on the way through. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. See you next week.